I'm Joe Williams, here to bring you Lax to the Max. Kicking off our top five, we have the Charlotte Hounds clearing out for the Connecticut kid, Matt White, number one, as he drives in the left wing. White swims, rolls back into a stick-breaking cross-check from half the Mountain Hawk Mafia. White is instantly freed up by his empty-handed defenseman and stuffs one in underhand. Coming in number four, we have John the Genie Grant. John the Prime Minister Grant. John the Ambassador Grant. Mac, these aren't working. Everybody's getting a nickname. Coming in number four, we have John, the John Grant. Grant Jr., number 24 for the Denver Outlaws. Brings the ball from X to the trot, almost hits half speed back to the trot, and buries the BTB. Pretty sure I saw me on there. Anyone else feel weird when John Grant puts the stick in his right hand? <laughs> it feels like the first time I drove in England. And Cascade, can we please get a helmet that fits him? At number three, we have Max, the main attraction sea ball, number 42 for the New York Lizard, striking downfield. He splits left, roll dodges, face dodges, and finishes with the bouncer. He just put on a clinic. Is that Pinell and Mock? That's one big red bear hug. At number two, we have Boston's number 27, Kevin the Buchanan Ball, coming in hot with an echoing yard sale. Great ride by the Boston Attack. Crowning our top five with two seconds left in the game, the Bad Apple, Brent Adams, number 28 for the Boston Cannons, runs into the Rochester Roadblock, number 15, John Galloway, who's the winningest NCAA goaltender in history. That was my top five for week two of the MLL season. In the comments below, let me know what you think John Grant's nickname should be. Be sure to subscribe to The Whistle, do not miss any MLL action. I'll see you guys next Friday.